discussing about gastrointestinal disorders and we will discuss chronic hepatitis. All guidelines about chronic hepatitis you can find um, in American Association of the Study of Liver Diseases, also in the Europe Association, and uh, definition of chronic um, hepatitis from uh, these documents um, is a group of inflammatory disease uh, liver which caused by primary damage of uh, hepatocytes and this damage is represented by dystrophy and necrosis of hepatocytes not resolved within six months and evolving into cirrhosis, like a final stage of hepatitis into cirrhosis. Chronic hepatitis is considered not as a single disease, but is a clinical and morphological syndrome. And in fact, chronic hepatitis, it's a common um, definition of uh, mild disorders of uh, the liver. Uh, and we can assess it like a morphological syndrome, which combined the similar clinical cases and uh, clinical problems and uh, laboratory disorders. And based on two fundamental factors, like it's a logical, combined by uh, it's a logical nature, clinical and morphological damaging. So a group of diseases based on uh, fundamental factors like etiological and clinical manifestation and morphological uh, changing. According by the last uh, modern definition, chronic hepatitis is a diffuse inflammatory dystrophic lesion of the liver and characterized by histolymphoplasmatic portal infiltration hyperplasia of stellar reticular endothelocytes and moderate fibrosis. And the stages of fibrosis also we can classify it. In a combination with degeneration and necrosis of liver cells with maintained lobular structure of the liver. The main problem is the changing of the lobal structure like um, a small unit of the liver. And returning to the previous semester about the structure of uh, the lobal, like a main um, point. And the lobal consists and the main components of the lobal, it's a central vein which located in the central part of the lobal. Bile duct, it's a green color, uh, and in bile duct combined portal triad with interlobular vein, which in normal also contact with the center vein through the uh, periportal system of communication, branch of hepatic artery and sinusoids, and through the sinusoids, uh, interlobular vein should contact with the central portal vein. Epidemiology of chronic hepatitis. Chronic hepatitis remains a serious uh, socioeconomic and the clinical and epidemiological problem of public health in uh, uh, all countries, which is due to the steady increase in the incident and mortality rate and the widespread prevalence of blood brought viruses among the population, blood transfusion weights, B, C, D, G, and F type of um, viral hepatitis causing chronic hepatitis in 70 and 80 percent of all cases. With the universal recognition of the polyetiology of this pathology, the leading role in its origin belongs to hepatotropic viruses against which is pronounced it like a pathological effect of other agencies manifested. Currently known viruses of hepatitis A, B, C, D, E, F, G, the new TTD, S, E, M, D, capable of causing liver damage. And the most studied are hepatitis A, B, C, D in the combination, and like a superinfection or co-infection in case of D hepatitis viruses, and the less studied hepatitis, the new type of TTD and C, N, and D. According to World Health Organization, there are more than uh, 1,400 million chronic carriers of hepatitis B virus in the world and uh, 350 million people which infected with hepatitis C viruses and carriers of the viruses. Uh, 
Every year, around 50 million people with hepatitis B are registered in the world, and from 100 to 200 million with hepatitis C, and it's a um, big serious problem. For example, in Europe, the number of infected with HCD uh, viruses is 2% uh, of the entire population, it's 5 million of, uh, in Western Europe. And the high incident rate is more often observed in age-related group from 15 till 25 and from 25 to 29 years. And this is due to the fact that the transmission hepatitis B and C virus is currently being sexually transmitted or with intravenous drug use. Unfortunately, the main way of infection of the viral hepatitis B and C in the right in the modern time, uh, it's uh, um, using uh, intravenous they know those type of drugs, some, manipul some medicine manipulation, uh, like a iatrogenic uh, pathology, and all contact with the uh, blood or the internal uh, substance of the patient and sexual transmission. About classification, there are many types of classification of hepatitis. And uh, firstly, it's autoimmune hepatitis without uh, any viral agents. It's autoimmune inflammation through the mechanism of circulated immune complexes. Viral hepatitis, uh, which also associated with uh, um, autoimmune complexes inflammation. Chronic non-specific hepatitis. Chronic hepatitis with the unknown etiology, we can't establish with the real etiology of this hepatitis. Chronic toxic hepatitis, and uh, it's an uh, active action of any toxic uh, drugs. Uh, chronic drug-induced hepatitis, the separate types. Primary sclerosing halangitis, and it's the first problem um, in the gut blood and the uh, halatoc. Primary biliary cirrhosis on the phone on the background of hepatitis. Uh, Wilson Carnival of disease, like a separately type infection, and disease uh, with dependency alpha D antitrypsin of the liver. Not only the lungs, but also it's possible in the liver with separately type, but percentage of uh, such patients less than. 0.5% from the total population patient with um, hepatitis. Uh, clinical classification of chronic hepatitis. By etiology, viral hepatitis, which we discussed, B, C, D, chronic viral hepatitis undefined, F, D, like a superinfection or co-infection with D in case of C, autoimmune hepatitis, chronic drug hepatitis, alcoholic hepatitis, but the diagnosis of alcoholic hepatitis uh, you can confirm only in case of Putin by the um, neurologist or psychologist, the diagnosis of uh, alcohol abuse. In all in other uh, cases, uh, we can classify the, uh, this hepatitis only in the um, part of toxic hepatitis. Cryptogenic or idiopathic chronic hepatitis with unknown etiology. Uh, morphological classification of chronic hepatitis. A chronic active hepatitis or aggressive with varying degrees of activity, with moderate activity, with pronounced activity, necrosing from uh, with intrahepatic cholestasis, chronic low bowel hepatitis, and chronic persistent hepatitis. According by the fees of occurrence, it's a fees of exacerbation and the fees of recommission. Uh, also, we can classify chronic hepatitis uh, by a number of other liver disease may have clinical and histological features of chronic hepatitis. For example, primary biliary cirrhosis, wilson Carnival of disease, primary sclerosis halangitis, and dependency of alpha D antitrypsin liver failure, into which identify with the dependency of alpha D antitrypsin. Uh, but uh, all these causes lead to developing chronic hepatitis. So, uh, and we can discuss it in the group of disease which lead to chronic damaging of the liver. Morphological criteria of diagnosis of chronic hepatitis. Chronic persistent hepatitis, it's a morphological criteria, inflammatory cells and filtration, localized mainly in the port system of the portal tract, expansion of the portal tract, and preservation of the lobar structure of the liver. 
closer to the portal than system in the system of the portal tracts, chronic persistent hepatitis. Chronic low bural hepatitis is characterized by small single necrosis and intralobular infiltrates, localized mainly in the middle section of the lobules with intact or moderately modified portal tracts with preserved body record. Next type of morphological uh, chronic hepatitis, chronic autoimmune hepatitis. With this type of hepatitis, expressed lymphohistolytic infiltration with a significant increase in number of the plasma cells and eosinophiles and portal fields with the spread of inflammatory infiltrates into the parenchyma of the liver and dilation of the integrity of the border plate and stepped necrosis of hepatocytes, and the process codes and inflammatory infiltrates penetrating from portal teeth into lobules that late its architectonic. Change in the parenchyma are polymorphic, balloon dystrophy predominance, and in addition to step, bridge shaped and multilobal necrosis, uh, we can separate it, and the appearance of nodal regeneration indicates about the formation of cirrhosis. And look, all morphological criteria of chronic hepatitis in fact, it's histological examination and uh, we can spoke about it only after making biopsy of the liver. Etiology of chronic hepatitis. Etiological factor of chronic viral hepatitis is a hematropic hematol contact viruses group of B, C, D, G, F. Viral hepatitis makes up 70-80% of all hepatitis and develop is, uh, as an immunocomplex disease with different and many different variants of the ratio of the virus and liver cells. And we can separate it some stage of infection. It's a lytic infection, hepatocytes, lysis, the formation of a large number of antigens, uh, the launch uh, of the immune response, and the formation of an autoantigen, the formation of an autoimmune process. Next, uh, it's a uh, persistent infection. Lysis of hepatocytes is accompanied by their division and preservation of the virus inside the dividing and outer cells. Uh, the outer cells. However, antigen formation and autoimmune reaction are less pronounced. And uh, uh, next stage, it's latent infection. The virus also penetrates inside the cells, but the hepatocyte during the vision copies its cells and the viruses, and the large number of the liver cells containing a virus with the latent curse of hepatitis are formed. And only uh, at a certain stage does the explosion of the virus is multiplying and release, that is, a lytic variance develops infection. In the development of uh, an uh, immunocomplex inflammatory process, the leading role is attributed to an, an adequate immune response due to a genetic predisposition. We can't exclude a genetic predisposition of uh, in some patient population. And the cooperation of the T and B lymphocytes is disrupted and cellular and humoral immunity are changed, damage liver parenchyma with the release of antigenes, and the development of acute disease reaction with fixed and circulating immune complexes in the central bloodstream and fixed uh, after that on the basal membrane of hepatocytes. Immunoglobulin A immune complexes block hematexis and phagocytosis in liver parenchyma and hepatocytes. Immunoglobulin G and immunoglobulin M fraction stimulate complement activation, and these immunoglobulins block the elimination of immune complexes and cause released by cells lysosomal enzymes and leading to proliferation of uh, population of lymphocytes and inhibition of migration of lymphocytes and monocytes and empire and microcirculation developed of, uh, uh, and leading to development of uh, microthrombosis 
uh, zones of uh, micronecrosis and secondary reactive inflammation after secondary pool of uh, uh, local inflammation enzymes. The introduction of the virus into hepatocytes caused the formation of antibodies and the development of the immune theory of inflammation in pirate microcirculation. All these processes are latent in nature, it's not so fast, and clinical size of the disease upper during the development of inflammation. Clinical signs uh, will uh, activate it, uh, will aggravate it only uh, after the development of inflammation inside the, inside the hepatocytes and liver parenchyma. At this slide, you can assess pathogenesis of viral hepatitis A. It's uh, more simple uh, to recover in for patient. Hepatitis A pathogenesis injection through the oral catheter. Replication of viruses hepatitis A is represented in oral pharynx and gastrointestinal tract uh, due to the digestive process. Transported to the liver, it's a major site of replication. Shield and bile transported to intestine with the uh, normally uh, bile activities. Shed in the fecus and brief therapy and cellular immune response, clinical disease and control. And uh, incubation period of viral hepatitis A uh, consists from the uh, 15th till uh, 30 uh, days and depends from the immune status of the patient. At this slide, you can assess uh, pathogenesis of viral hepatitis B, which uh, trans blood transported, and uh, the uh, the remi aggregated after the contact with the liver, and uh, this uh, pathogenesis plays role uh, um, immune fractions, uh, uh, leukocytes, um, fraction of uh, uh, CD8, leading to lysis antiviral cytokines and uh, getting primary damage in direct. Uh, primary direct damage into the liver hepatocytes. Also from the uh, T helpers, uh, first sites and CD4 groups leading to antiviral cytokines and bombings of the livers, producing the um, uh, local interleukin factor of necrosis, fracture factor of growing, uh, and also leading to hepatocytes, uh, the hemokin hemokin receptors interaction. Look, and there is place for replication. Uh, viral proteins uh, due to phagocytosis and macropenetitosis, contact with the viral infection, and leading to a major antigen capturing. Next, leading to maturation and migration and contact of the HLA uh, system and leading uh, to the major T cell stimulatory and T cell series of lymphoid organs. And it's working by the uh, lymphocystic infiltration with asianophile component. The next slide. represented by the genesis of uh, viral hepatitis C, also blood transported. And uh, um, practically it's the similar way, but uh, look, uh, uh, the viral hepatitis C uh, contacted in try into the hepatocytes, uh, leading to uncoating, uh, uh, next to translation uh, and replication and uh, also uh, leading to contact lipid droplets uh, in uh, the hepatocytes and leading to more faster closing, uh, more faster damaging of the liver with development of cirrhosis due to containing the lipid droplets in the nucleus of the primary hepatocytes and uh, mm, primary hepatocytes uh, and uh, replication of the viral infection uh, due to contact of the uh, cells of uh, the liver. About clinical picture. The nature of the clinical symptoms in chronic viral hepatitis depends on the degree of activity of the inflammatory process in the liver and the duration of the disease. And uh, maybe it will be first clinical picture. Uh, it's a standard vegetative syndrome is often detected in patients with hepatitis.
Patients usually complain of increased fatigue and general thickness in a very high degree and more pronounced during the walking, especially after heavy physical extension, and becomes irritable, emotionally labile, often aggressive towards relatives, and some change in the psychological status of patients can be some early and first symptom of hepatocytes. Yes, not only associated no, with hepatocytes, not specific, but can be first. In some cases, headache, sleep disturbance, uh, uh, lethargy, excessive sweating, low grade fever, and uh, observed. Next symptom in the clinical picture, the dyspeptic syndrome in chronic viral hepatitis occurs by both in connection with the functional uh, inferiority of the liver and the connection with the very frequent lesion of the biliary tract, gastroduodenal zone and pancreas. There is a feeling of heaviness in the right hypochondrium and epigastric region bloating and abdominal pain, nausea, belching, and intolerance to fatty foods, and a decrease in appetite is observed only in a small number of patients. Uh, Non-specific but significant for um, hepatocytes, dyspeptic syndrome. Done this. It's not a symptom characteristic of chronic viral hepatitis, and the disease as a rule proceeds without disturbance in bilirubin metabolism. But only in individuals patients, some bacterial or mild hysteria of sclera can be noted. And however, in especially severe cases of chronic viral hepatitis, with transition to cirrhosis, uh, it becomes a constant symptom being a manifestation of hepatic cell failure. In fact, jaundice, uh, in case of hepatitis, it will be um, parenchymal jaundice due to damaging of the lobal structure, due to damaging of uh, the hepatocytes, and uh, it's a sign of hepatic cell failure already. And in case of uh, uh, chronic hepatitis, hepatitis, this yellowish uh, tint of the color will be uh, take like a chevron tint uh, of uh, the skin and you can uh, take it in a photo. Then the syndrome is also observed with a rare variant of the chronic process, chronic holistatic hepatitis and contact with the problem with the bile primary. In this patient, the severity of dandis varies from the mild to instant, intense and can be stagnant in which the skin color acquires a greenish yellow tint over time cause the coloration of the bile it's uh, green and it means the stain in the bile inside the hepatocytes. Next in the clinical picture, it's a hemorrhagic syndrome, is observed in half of patient and it's characterized by skin hemorrhage in the form of bruises, nosebleeds, petechial ratios, um, like a spiders. Bruises are more often found on the uh, upper limbs and trunk in the upper part of uh, the body. Epistaxis is very short livered uh, and stops spontaneously. Petechial ratios are not abundant and are localized on the skin of the face, neck, trunk, and less common the limbs. And hemorrhagic manifestation, uh, we can explain uh, due to a decrease in the synthesis of protrombin and other coagulation factors, and uh, it's a tendency for thrombocytopenia, and these petechial ratios, uh, in fact, it's a sign of thrombocytopenia and the problem with the synthetizing of protrombin, which normally is synthetizing in the healthy liver. Vascular manifestations, so-called extra hepatic signs, are found in 70% of patients. And uh, this include telangiectasias or spider bands, capillaries and palmar edema, and uh, all these liver signs we discussed with you during examining of patients with uh, liver disease. The size of spider dance ranges from the uh, 1 till 10 millimeters in diameter. And the number and size of them is the greater, the heavier the damage to the liver and associated, associated with the um, gradient and uh, greedy of the damaging of the liver. 
and uh, from the right side you can assess spider dense notelian geek thesis. Usually more often we can find it in the upper part, in the upper limbs, and on the another slide you can uh, find the palmar erythema. The similar changing of um, the skin uh, also can establish in uh, the down part of the feet. But uh, primary tema are more simple to detect during a uh, physician examining. You can assess it during the speaking with patient, the condition of the palm of the patient. Uh, the mechanism of development, this desk color science, uh, it's not a hemorrhagic science, it's a desk color science, is associated with metabolic disorders in the liver and uh, the circulation of an excess of biological active substance, enzymes, kinase, prostaglandins, and estrogens due to the insufficient inactivation and disintoxication in the liver due to damaging of the liver structure. Active humoral factors causes, causes and leading to peripheral vasodilatation and the opening of arteriodenosis shunts to include in blood supply. Palmar erythema in hepatic palms is most uh, characteristic of patients with a moderate and severe degree of activity of chronic viral hepatitis. And it's expressed by symmetrically finally spotted, sometimes uh, spotted and redness of the palms and soles, more significant in the area of tenor and hypotenor. And the appearance of the palmar erythema is associated with microcirculatory disorders, which is associated with increasing level of um, um, circulated um, biological active imine, enzymes, kinase, which leading to systemic uh, low capacity dilatation and opening up arterial uh, vent shunts. Uh, Hepatomegaly is the main symptom of the disease and uh, it may be the only clinical signs of chronic hepatitis and sometimes only during routine examining of the patient. You can find the viral or the hepatomegaly. You can find it during palpation, during routine, during uh, percussion and confirmed by the ultrasound method. The liver is palpated from under the costal margin and the range from 0.5 to 8 centimeter and it depends from the aggravation of the chronic hepatitis. As a normal, you knew that the liver should be closing uh, by the costal arc to protect the liver from the damaging. And the upper body is percussion determining enormous or can uh, aggravated up in uh, six and five intercostal spaces, but usually the upper body is determining on the normal level and uh, uh, hepatomegaly uh, associated with uh, um, decreasing or increasing the down border of the liver during your examining. The quantity of the organ varies from uh, densely elastic to dense and depending on the degree of activity of chronic viral hepatitis and the stage of the process, exacerbation or remission. Normally, um, the age of the, the liver during palpation is elastic, low density, um, some sudden you can improve it. And many patients have a sensitivity and even sureness of the liver and especially in the period of exacerbation of the disease, as well as in the presence of inflammatory change from the biliary tract. And the surface of the organ is usually smooth, the edge is rounded to sharp, and in most cases there is a uniform increase in the right and left lobes of uh, the liver. Splenomegaly also is typical of, for uh, chronic viral hepatitis, but not as a constant as a liver enlargement. A distinct hepatolineal syndrome is not observed in all patients with a greater regularity manifestation in cells with a moderately pronounced degree of activity of chronic viral hepatitis. And the spleen clan protrude from the hypochondrium by 0.5 till 5 cm or more, and also depends from the gravation of the infection, has a densely elastic or dense texture with a flat surface. 
as you know, in uh, Norma and the health person, we can't palpate it, uh, the spleen uh, during abdominal palpation. On which point we can pay our, our attention during taking anamnesis? Uh, we need to uh, assess uh, the ability of patients uh, included in high-risk groups for viral hepatitis B infection. Drug usage, if a uh, patient uh, will tell you about it. Individuals who close contact have the chronic HBV uh, infection. In sense of HBV positive mothers, and it's a ethical way. Uh, professional uh, professions with exposure to human blood and or seminal vaginal fluids. Just a minute, I'm sorry. Da, Natalia Alexandrovna. I'm sorry. So, in funds from the HBV positive mothers, uh, professions with exposure to human blood and or seminal vaginal fluids, all uh, medical personnel, individuals with multiply sex partners or sex partners with the HBV positive people, patient undergoing hemodialysis contact with the blood, organ or blood transfusion recipient, and hepatitis C viruses or HIV positive individuals also in the group of um, etiology with HBT infection. Uh, high uh, risk group for um, hepatitis C infection. Drug users also, especially long time users. Hepatitis B virus or HIV-positive individuals, 
prisoners and recipient of blood transfusions or organ transplantant. In fact, it's in principle, it's all the same uh, groups uh, with infection of the hepatitis there will be. About examination algorithm of patient with uh, hyper, chronic hepatitis. Assessment of the history date and the analysis, which can be very useful and establish the etiology of the disease. Uh, you can assess the type of your patient. The first manifestation of the disease and their connection with any effects. For example, indication of taking medication with hepatotoxic potential, some antibacterial drugs. Surgical intervention and contact with the surgery instruments and transfusions of the blood components that carry and increase in the risk of infection with uh, viral hepatitis. Previous uh, insulation, which provokes the onset of autoimmune hepatitis. Insulation provokes not only autoimmune hepatitis, in fact, provokes autoimmune mechanism of inflammation and can lead into autoimmune hep uh, hepatitis in combining with another autoimmune problems. Next, uh, in the point of algorithm, the nature of the cause of the disease, rapidly progressive characteristic of autoimmune hepatitis, accompanied by neurological disorders characteristic of Wilson disease, accompanied by the development of diabetes mellitus, heart failure, importance often observed with the hematochrosis. Burdened heredity with metabolic disease association, the duration of alcohol consumption and the average daily dose indication of uh, parental drug trans uh, administration. Next in algorithm, we need to assess concomitant disease, the presence of type uh, second time diabetes mellitus and overweight. It's a risk factor for the development of liver statuses and static hepatitis. Extra hepatic autoimmune disorders, signs that increase the likelihood of the presence of any type of autoimmune liver diseases through the mechanism calculated autoimmune complexes. Identification of specific signs during examination which we discussed with you and surely it's laboratory research dates we can't establish with your uh, chronic hepatitis viral and not viral without any laboratory research dates diagnostics and in the first place it's serum diagnostic serum serology the presence of serum antigens and uh, immunoglobulins the most important factor for diagnosis viral hepatitis uh, these are helpful for determining the acuity of the chronicity of uh, disease as well as adequate immunity. And if you look into the slide, there is a big table for routine diagnosis of uh, hepatitis. So about hepatitis A, it's uh, in the serum of the blood by serology, uh, by the method of uh, ELISA, hepatitis A antibody, uh, anti-HIV is detectable during acute and sexual stage and uh, persists for the life. So its presence does not distinguish between active disease and immunity, but immunoglobulin M-specific antibody denotes acute infection. About hepatitis B, uh, there are um, several types of antigenes, ABS and superficial antigenes, uh, presence in acute or chronic infection also detectable as early as one uh, until two weeks after infection, and persist in chronic hepatitis regardless of whether uh, the symptoms are present. And if virus is clear, then a uh, superficial antigen uh, is undetectable. Hepatitis B E antigen, reflex active viral replication and presence indicates infectivity and appears shortly after HBS antigen. Anti HBS antigen antibody, anti HBS antibody presence after vaccination or after clearance of uh, HBS antigen usually detectable from the one to three month after infection, and in most cases presence of anti HBS indicates immunity to uh, viral hepatitis B. Hepatitis B core antibody. 
assay of AOTI of immunoglobulin M and immunoglobulin G combined useful because it may be the only serological markers of HBV infection during the window period and which as be a superficial S antigen is disappearing and the anti-HBS antigen is not yet detectable. Does not distinguish uh, between acute and chronic infection and presence does not indicate immunity status. Viral load uh, for uh, viral hepatitis B, uh, HBV DNA measures um, by PCI and if it persists for more than six weeks, patients is likely to develop to the chronic and chronization process of the chronic hepatitis. About hepatitis C, hepatitis, uh, hepatitis C antibody, key markers of ASHA CV infection, sometimes non detectable until month after infection, so its absence does not rule uh, uh, out of infection, unfortunately. And viral load RCV RNA measures by the PCR reaction. And detectable one uh, to two weeks after infection, more sensitive uh, than uh, RCV antibody. Hepatitis D, hepatitis D antibody, uh, and presence indicates H D V superinfection, and the antibody may not be present in acute illness, so repeat testing may be necessary to assess the superinfection with little hepatitis C. Next laboratory tests, serum of bilirubin, the activity of transaminase, aspartate and alamine and uh, transaterase, uh, alkaline phosphatase, level of the total protein and protein grams cause the protein synthesizing also in uh, the liver and it shows us the level of protein insufficiency like a combination of the liver failure. Uh, Protrombin time or index, mm, just a minute, I'm sorry. Also, or by the laboratory, we can find protrombin time or protrombin index, which show us hemorrhage damaging. Urine bilirubin and ure bilirubin, uh, ure, uh, bilirubin gene, we uh, assess ure bilirubin gene in urine like a sign of uh, the jaundice and the level of the Perenheim jaundice and the level of the damaging. And uh, abromosulfalin tests, excretory secretory function of the liver, alterated reading may be the earliest sign of the liver disease sometimes. Uh, next, we can combine the same syndromes of chronic hepatitis. Clinical and laboratory syndromes. It's fetolic syndrome and we can call it like a small liver failure, hepatic cell failure syndrome, immune inflammatory syndrome, cholestatic syndrome, astenovegetative syndrome, dyspeptic syndrome, it's a clinical and laboratory syndrome, hemorrhagic syndrome, hyperspleenism syndrome, and portal hypertension syndrome, like a uh, sign of cirrhosis. Astenovegetative syndrome includes general weakness, decreased performance, emotional instability of the patient, nervousness of the patient, and some sleep disorders due to toxin damaging of the central nervous systems. Dyspeptic syndrome includes nausea, poor appetite, epigastric severity, some bell chain due to toxic also, feeling of bitterness in the mouth, bloating, constipation can combine with different signs. Hemorrhagic syndrome, gum bleeding, and sometimes gum bleeding during washing the teeth, it can be a first clinical sign of hepatitis. Nose bleeds and hemorrhage on the skin. And if you'll find hemorrhage on the skin of patient, you can edit information about gum bleeding or nose bleeding, maybe another type of bleeding from the hemorrhoidal dance. Why not? Hypersplenism syndrome. 
enemy included enemy cause in large uh, of the spleen it's a cause of um, development secondary enemy due to increasing uh, a total amount of the um, erythrocytes um, damaging thrombocytopenia and leukopenia include hypersplenic syndrome, including not only physician examining dates of uh, enlarge of the spleen, but also laboratory signs of enemy, thrombocytopenia and leukopenia, all growing of the blood. Immune inflammatory syndromes from the clinical signs, it's a fever, it's a development arterial gene, vasculitis, skin or pulmonary vasculitis, skin damaging or pulmonary damaging, also includes splenomegaly and lymphadenopathy. Laboratory signs, dysproteinemia, uh, gamma globulins, hyperproteinemia, uh, LA cells, which show us the level of inflammation reaction, antibodies to DNA, uh, antibodies to smooth muscles, uh, uh, mitochondrial antigens, and antibody to mitochondrial and uh, uh, anti neutrophilic uh, anti antibodies. Cytolytic syndrome include clinical signs and laboratory signs. Wave loss hemorrhagic diathesis and hemorrhagic syndrome, hepatic odor, hepatic tongue, hepatic palms and palm erythema, spider dance and including vascularity syndrome, changing body hair and developing gynecomastia. Please to the uh, practical uh, class repeat information about examining the patient with uh, liver disorders and uh, explanation with developing uh, all liver signs. From the laboratory sites, it's increasing aspartate and alumina mannotransferase will be positive, decreasing level of uh, protein fraction uh, like ibumin, decreasing the protrombine, decrease all coagulation factor and intact it will be tendency to hypocoagulation, decreasing cholesterol, total cholesterol, uh, cholinesterase and direct bilirubin. Cholestatic syndrome, clinical signs, itchy skin, dandies, and skin pigmentation, uh, coloration of the skin, xanthalasmine symptoms, darkening of urine, and lightening thickers. Laboratory signs, it's direct bilirubin increasing, cholesterol, and decreasing alkaline phosphatase, and uh, gamma GTP increasing, like a signs of parenchymal inflammation. Hepatic cell failure. In fact, it does not matter the nature because we go in the chronic hepatitis without normal level of medication to develop hepatic cell failure. Includes a syndrome for small and large hepatic cell failure. Under the syndrome of small hepatic cell failure or hepatodepression, we should understand any dilation of the liver without the effect of encephalopathy. And syndrome of large hepatocellular insufficiency should be understood as a deeper dilation of the liver leading to encephalopathy till the liver coma or coma without the hepatic cell failure. The main indicators of hepatic cell failure, dilation of the protein forming function of the liver, dilation of the carbohydrate function of the liver, impaired liver lipid function, dilation of the pigment function of the liver, and dilation of the neutralizing function of the liver. In fact, it will be inflammatory uh, syndrome and laboratory syndrome of autoimmune inflammation. Diagnostic instrumental diagnostics of hepatocytes. Ultrasound and liver scans would make it possible to determine the localization of the focal disease, epstels, echinococcosis, maybe tumor. With the help of screening methods, it's only possible to ensasm of the liver disease. A specific diagnosis is not established. Liver elastography. Liver restography, uh, the modern time, it's a gold standard of determining the level of uh, um, fibrosis and uh, the stage of cirrhosis uh, without biopsy. Liver restography, 
um, look, it's practical. Working absolutely like an ultrasound method, but we don't need biopsy of the liver because biopsy, if it's invasive method, yes, we can establish morphological situation, but to assess the level of um, fibrosis, we can use in the elastograde non-invasive method, absolutely comfortable for patient, and by this vibrator on the um, source of uh, ultrasound method, we assess the density and uh, the degree of development connective tissue in the liver um, tissue. As a thagogastroscopy, for assess the level of development directs of um, esophageal and stomach. To clarify the nature of diffuse damage uh, to the liver, laparoscopy with the liver biopsy, if you need to confirm morphological um, condition, uh, liver biopsy, its uh, method makes it possible to establish the severity of fibrotic and necroinflammatory changes in the liver. And liver biopsy is carried out in dynamics with to determine the progression of the liver damage. Also, we can use in selective angiography to assess the level of the scularity additional tissue and CT scan using uh, with the using of the contrast also to assess the uh, involvement of the parenchyma in uh, of the liver in the blood supply. Mm -hmm.